news, everyone. Good news indeed. Yeah, if you guys ever have any news stuff that you would like uh, for me to discuss over here on the news, uh, make sure that you get into that Discord, uh, find that news channel, uh, and drop those articles in there. Or videos if you would like us to do that. All right, let's get into this first one. This one was in here by Cyclo. Uh, and this is just a, a quick recap of all the Triple I initiative uh, announcements. So Triple I was a, uh, a little uh, live stream type thing that happened at, what was it, today or yesterday? Uh, and it was just a kind of a, like a, uh, a showcase of a bunch of high quality indie titles slay the spire 2 hype train is leaving the station i got it lined up right after this so we can take a look at that but i wanted to go over this this is just a quick recap of everything that kind of got announced uh so 33 immortals uh beta gameplay trailer was uh shown off i don't know what the hell 33 immortals is broken roads an official launch trailer uh, hold on. Let me see. Thunder Lotus revealed a new gameplay trailer to announce the closed beta dates for 33 Immortals. Uh, 33 player co-op action roguelike. Uh, like I said, Broken, uh, Broken Roads celebrates its launch across PC and console with a tense launch trailer. Brotato. <laughs> Blobfish Games, the team behind the action pack survival game, Brotato, has just announced the launch of its first DLC, Brotato Abyssal abyssal terrors oh nice and the local co-op announcement oh that's pretty cool rotato is fun that looks like a like it could be pretty awesome and local co-op co is always cool cat quest 3 oh shit they're still making these uh opening animation revealed uh possum <laughs> the possum upcoming action rpg by the gentle bros cat bro 3 or cat quest 3 <laughs> reveals a fresh new animation opening movie and a new glimpse of gameplay yo niji what's happening buddy welcome on in love the cat quest really i didn't ever get to play any of these i i felt like i felt like maybe maybe i'm misunderstanding which ones these which ones these are maybe this is not what i was thinking they are Oh, they're fun. Oh, I might check them out then. Yeah, Niji, it's great to see you, buddy. How you been? How is uh, how is uh, streams been? What you been playing? Cataclysmo uh, from the creators of Moonlighters and Madge <laughs> uh, Seeker. C Cataclysmo is a real-time strategy game about building castles brick by brick and defending humanity against swarms of horror. We could play together? Oh, really? I like to hear that. Stream's going well. Oh yeah, did hit a new milestone, 700 peeps. Yeah, we'd love to hear that. Congrats, Niji. Congrats, my dude. That is amazing. Stream's going well, good, good. What have you been playing? Um, Make sure I do one of these. Uh, make sure you guys check out Niji if you have not. Uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 Kingdom Kingdoms is a brand new... Wait, what? Oh, a new free game mode, Kingdoms. I need to make sure I'm not reading these sub... The subhead titles here. Subtitles. Sub... Subhead? What, what is... What is it? Headlines? Sub... Sublines. Yeah, that's what it is. New free game mode, Kingdoms. Uh, Kingdoms is a brand new standalone uh, campaign game mode coming to Darkest Kingdom... Or Darkest Dungeons 2 as a free update. Ah, oh, nice. Death Must Die. Act 2 is revealed. Death Must Die gets its first big content update with Act 2. Patch. And Dino Lords. Jesus. Uh, Elden Ring Alone in the Dark. Finished Sekiro. Uh, Tomb Raider Remastered. Pokemon Le uh, Legends Arceus. How is uh, Tomb Raider Remastered? I felt like I watched some people play it. And uh, they were just trying with the new controls and they thought it looked bad. Or they felt, felt bad, sorry. These last two games, dinosaurs are awesome. That's true. Uh, Dino Lords is a real-time strategy game where you gather resources, build fortifications, and command units in defense against the invading 
Danes. Uh, Dyson Sphere program, a free content reveal from the uh, peaceful simulation and base building to facing the black mist attack. But it seems like the blast mist, black mist uh, cannot be eradicated. But it's enjoyable. Yeah, that's cool. It's like Warcraft style like game. That is the only one uh, you're interested in. Oh, nice. Okay, that's cool though. End zone two. End zone. End zone two. Man. Uh, gameplay trailer. Uh, since it's startling announcement in summer 2023, End Zone 2 has amassed a whopping 150,000 wish lists and more than 12,000 followers on Steam. Uh, and then they showed off the first trailer. So cool. Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn. Composing Vengeance trailer. Uh, learn more about the music in Flintlock, uh, The Siege of Dawn from the game's composer. Gestalt, uh, Steam, and Cinder. Uh, release date trailer. Embark on a journey, an epic journey to shatter the chains of fate in Gestalt, Steam, and Cinder. An eagerly anticipated, stunning, handcrafted action RPG. Launching May 21st. Oh, I see you, Jenna. Hit that purple. That's such a Jenna purple, too. My ear, my ear is blocked. Yeah, I remember seeing that you were taking some time off. How has it been? It's nice for the ice eyeballs. It is nice for the eyeballs. I love it. I need a little bit of... Little eyeball purple. Let me... Oh, there we go. My eyeballs feel rejuvenated. Uh, Hyper Light Breakers. Mini Boss Reveal Trailer. Uh, Heart Machine is excited to reveal a new trailer giving you the first look at Flame Wizard. Kill Knight announcement trailer. Enter if you dare, Knight, and reveal, revel in the carnage coming 2024. Laysara Summit Kingdom surprise launch trailer. I mean, aren't they all kind of like surprise? <laughs> Beautiful. Would not advise doing that, guys. Doing what? What are you talking about? I'm so confused. I, I feel like maybe I said something I shouldn't have. Which does sound like me. Hotly anticipated mountain-sized city builder, uh, Laysara uh, Summit Kingdom surprise launch trailer to Steam Early Access. Let's School, beloved school management sim announced for Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. Getting your eyeballs all up in the lights. Why not? What's wrong with that, man? I they We had an eclipse recently, and what we were told to do was stare at the sun. With no glasses on, of course. They said if you wear glasses, you couldn't really see it. And then they were like, but you don't see it with your real eyes. And I was like, damn, that is so true. Uh, PM Studios and Panthera Games are delighted to announce that the beloved school management simulation game, La School, will launch for Xbox uh, and PlayStation. Oh, and a Switch. Nice. Mouse Spike D gameplay uh, teaser. My elbows will burn and I would be tearing up. Right. Well, yeah, that's, that's how you know that they're getting stronger, though. Did I watch the totality? I sure did. It was amazing. Did you get to check it out then, Niji? Uh, well, that keeps me in a job. Does it, if, if people go blind, can you still work on their eyes? Is there still something you need to do with them? <laughs> I don't mean that in like a bad way. Just like if people like stared at the sun and they like permanently lose vision, what do you do for them at that point? Uh, premiering as part of the Triple I initiative, the latest gameplay trailer for Mouse, the upcoming 1930s noir fueled uh, cartoon inspired FPS. That game looks really cool, Mouse does. My time at Sandrock, cross platform multiplayer announcement date uh, announcement trailer. Panthera Games Focus Entertainment and PM Studios are delighted to announce that the cross platform multiplayer will be coming to PC and console versions of the acclaimed construction RPG Life's in My Time at Sandrock. Still gotta check the health of those bad boys. Hey, you don't, do you really? Like, just take them at that point, yeah? Such an amazing experience. Yeah, I, 
at work we got to we got to take uh 10 minutes and go watch it and i gave i got to to let all my employees take time to go watch it it was great never alone to game reveal today humble games the publisher team of the beloved humble bundle brand and Eli media a pioneer developer and publisher of games meaningful games whatever announced their partnership to launch never alone 2 take them as a prize right or like as punishment for staring at the sun right i think it's probably as punishment norlin i uh early access release date announced uh hooded horse announced the early access release date for norlin yeah, obviously. Old world, old world behind the throne DLC announced coming next month. Hooded Horse announced the latest DLC for Mohawk Games uh, 4X historical strategy epic Old World. Pal World. Oh shit! I didn't even think that Pal World would be. Sorry, sir. Those are mine now. Right. If you're too stupid to use them, you can't. You're not allowed to anymore. I think that's just fair, and fair is fair. You know. I think venus is, is saying the same thing i like 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 a pirate would to agree right i uh so sad to lose my 100 percent completion of course isn't that how it goes though it's funny because like on 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 like at least playstation i'm sure there's other uh, you know consoles and and, and and stores and stuff that do this but like when you get that 100% completion there's usually like a, a, a end um, a achievement you get or whatever like it's a it's, they always call it a platinum trophy or whatever at least for for PlayStation and it's, it's not for all of them but usually you get a platinum for it and it's like hey you got all the other ones it's always funny when you get 100% and get uh, a platinum and then they add more and then your thing goes down and you're like but I still have the platinum and like yeah but not re but you kind of shouldn't I'm confiscating those sir listen people gotta you gotta learn right uh, arena teaser for pal world pal uh, the pal arena makes it its way to pal world in 2024 battle against other players uh, Raven's Watch Fall of Avalon update unveiled exclusively by Nikon and or Nacon maybe probably uh, and past tech games uh, Raven's Watch third chapter of Fall of Avalon arrives on April 22nd Risk of Rain 2 free content update featuring Dead Cells crossover skins and more I feel like that one's self-explanatory uh, RKGK developer intro and game reveal Gearbox Publishing and Wasabi Games announced RKGK, a new anime-inspired action-packed graffiti platformer. Shadow of Doubt, Shadows of Doubt, console announcement and sharpshooter assassin uh, launch trailer. Shadow of Doubt, the award-winning Im immersive detective sim, is coming out of coming out of early access into PlayStation 5 and Xbox S and Series S uh, on 2024. Slay the Spire 2. This is the one Cyclo has been waiting for. Uh, new reveal or a uh, reveal trailer. I was going to say a new reveal trailer, but it's the, the first one. Sequel to Slay the Spire announced in the reveal trailer as part of the Triple I initiative going into early access during 2025. I never got to play the first Slay the Spire, but I do own it and I definitely want to play it. It's not one I'm going to play on stream ever, but I do want to play it. Due to the update, so when you get 100%, you still don't have, to, you still have to get them uh, again. Oh, really? Damn. Hype. Yeah, I know, right, man? I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to see the trailer. I haven't even watched it yet. I was, I was waiting. I want to see the hype here. Uh, Streets of Rogue 2. Is, does this have anything to do with Streets of Rage? Is this like kind of like a spiritual successor? Successor? Official gameplay trailer, Streets of, Rage, Streets of Rage 2 has premiered it uh, over the top gameplay trailer showcasing key mechanics of the upcoming sandbox RPG. Uh, I think this is called, I forget how exactly you say this. I, think, I don't know if it's Chai or Chai, uh, but they are getting a Nintendo Switch release date. Game, uh, game award winning Tropic Open World Adventure to Chai or Chai coming to Nintendo Switch. 
uh, June 27th. The last spell, the last spell Dwarves of Runeberg DLC announced. Publisher, the arcade crew and developer Istar Games today announced that Dwarves of Runeberg, the DLC for the last spell, uh, be coming out on April 24th. For the name Chia. Oh, so it's like a, it's like Chia non, instead of Chai, huh? The Rogue Prince of Persia. So this is really, this one was one of the ones I saw and I was like really surprised. Like the fuck is this? How do you, how are you doing a, ro a Prince of Persia game when there was just a Prince of Persia game? Uh, but they did a reveal trailer. Evil Empire reveals their very first game today after nearly five years on, uh, on working post-launch content uh, for Dead Cells, which is a Prince of Persia game. Undermine 2 announcement teaser trailer. Uh, delve back into the Undermine and uncover bigger secrets than ever before. V Rising Legacy of Castlevania gameplay trailer. Swedish game developer uh, Stunlock Studios and Konami Digital Entertainment have uh, today released the first gameplay for uh, V Rising Legacy of Castlevania. Uh, Vampire Survivor. Uh, Operation Guns DLC featuring Contra coming on May 9th and PlayStation announcement. All these vampire games. You don't like vampires? I don't really care. Also, I'm pretty sure does does Vampire Survivor have any vampires in the cyclo? I watched the uh, I watched the trailer and they were like the game that doesn't even have vampires in it or something like that and I was like that, that's funny I didn't know that uh, Studio Ponicle has announced that Vampire Survivor is coming to PlayStation 4 and 5 this summer on top of that they are joining forces with Konami iconic Contra series and a new DLC These vampires are overdone an overdone theme zero vampires <laughs> right Yeah, I was going to say, Vampire Survivor looked like one of those games that actually looks great. What the Car? What the Car Steam Date Announcement. Demo out now. Wizards of Legend 2. First look gameplay. Uh, today, Humble Games and Dead Mage uh, conjured up the first look at the action... Oh, excuse me. The action-packed gameplay for Wizard, uh, Wizards of Legend 2. Beautiful guys, beautiful, beautiful. That is everything. That was so much. I didn't actually realize it was that much. Cyclo said there was probably too much, and it definitely felt like it. It definitely seemed like it was too much. Um, thank you so much for dropping that, Cyclo. That was awesome. Uh, okay, yeah. So sorry. Let's let's check out this. <laughs> let's check out this trailer for uh, for Slay the Spire Two. Oops. There we go. I I am excited for this. I want to get Helldivers so bad. If you do, we would be more than uh, willing to uh, let you let you get in on a couple of rounds if you want to show. Damn, I'm I'm so upset that it's gonna be it's gonna be a little while, but it gives me some time to play the first one. I still haven't gotten through got to play it yet. But that looks great, man. The art style looks great. I know that you know there's not a lot going on in there, but oh. uh, Saber Entertainment boss predicts seventy dollar games will go extinct. God, I fucking hope so. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those ones that gets like dropped in as like a. Man, wouldn't that be great? 
Uh, price has been one of the, uh, the greatest controversies of the current video game generation. Over the last few years, a number of games have jumped from a suggested retail price of $60 to $70. It's been nearly four years since publishers made that jump, yet it remains a hot topic of conversation among players and publishers. In an interview with IGN, Saber Inter uh, Interactive CEO Matthew Karsh addressed that price and the expectations that are put on a so-called AAA game. Karsh believes things are changing for the industry and the $70 price point will be going extinct. A <laughs> hundred coming soon. Isn't it crazy though? Like how many like games are, are shit for $70 and how many games are great for like way less because they want to play. That's cool though. At least you got some people to play with then. <laughs> we'll have to sell one kidney. Yes, I'd like a game. <laughs> One kidney, then. Uh, I think that game. I think that as games become more expensive to make, the seventy-dollar title is going to go the way of the dodo bird. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what a weird interjection there. The dodo bird. I do. What are you getting fucking married over here, Karsh? What's happening, bro? I just don't think it's sustainable. Look, you remember the hype for Cyberpunk, which I think <laughs> actually ultimately performed okay. But when the expectations are so high and so much money is put into one title, it's hugely risky for risky for the company that's doing it. What if it fails? You remember what happened when Ubisoft a couple years ago, all their titles slipped out of the year and then all of a sudden they were in an entirely different place. It's hard to recover from that. I think the market is going to shift to a development which is not necessarily lower quality, but there's going to be an emphasis on trying to make, uh, trying to find ways to reduce costs. Uh, uh, it's a firm belief that most AAAs are shit. So I just ain't gonna pay. Uh, I am a firm believer. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I think I agree for the most part that there's, there's not that they're shit but they're just not worth the price that is that they're they're asking um so i'm not gonna go too much more into this one i i i, I feel like oh my god sorry i was trying to zoom all the way in uh but yeah i i i i think everybody's like yeah i hope it goes down but i mean we'll see <sighs> star wars outlaws will feature lady kira Amelia Clark's character, Amelia Clark, 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 Amelia Clark's character in Solo. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the fuck is wrong with me? I don't know. I wonder all the time. Uh, I'm gonna grab some water real quick. High five or salute, squad. Speaking of a hundred dollar price tag, yeah, this game is gonna be ridiculous, and it's one of those ones. I just, I just don't care about this. I said it Tuesday, and, I, and I'll say it again today. This game doesn't interest me at all. Thinking about those honkers, a hundred percent. It's, it's those, uh, those Laura Croft ones though, the, the, the triangle ones. Those are the specific ones. Just in case you were wondering. Uh, information on the character's return comes from Game Informer, which spoke with developer Massive Entertainment about its open world sci-fi spinoff. The adventure sees the main character, K. Vest, coming face to face with various, various criminal bosses. According to Game Informer's cover story, Lady Kira will be among the bunch and represent Crimson Dawn. Damn, spoiler alert. Involded. Involded with Chad. Bro, is involded a word or did you mean involved? Because if inv involded is a word, I fucking love that word. I think he meant involved, but now I want involded to be a word. Oh, damn. Involded is. Bro, involded is a word. It's not what... It's, it, he definitely meant involved. But... The brain is tired, but she's here. I, I see it. Uh, involved is an adjective meaning difficult to comprehend, complicated. Mm. Embolded. Damn, what a good fucking word, my dude. 
I love that we're involved. It sounds so strong. And I'd say that <laughs> that's me, to be frank. Now, listen, that's what I'm saying. I love when we when we get stuff like that and we're getting a little bit, a little pop of involved. Mm. I think nipple holsters are very easy to comprehend. You know what? I think you're right. <laughs> they probably uh -huh. are easy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right. This just goes into more of that. Give him the old one, two, buckaroo. <laughs> buckaroo is a good is a good word too but involved damn you guys are learning you guys come here and you're thinking i'm not gonna learn anything <laughs> i'm just gonna watch dumb guy do dumb things nope you're gonna come here you're gonna learn about involved you're gonna learn about the word quinvigentillion <laughs> you didn't think i was bringing that one back out did you <laughs> nipple holsters are my brain is not right uh, all right, sorry. Whoa. Nice callback, right? Quinn Vigentillion? Dusted that one off. You guys didn't remember that one? That one was is seared into my brain. That that <laughs> Quinn Vigentillion. I remember. Yeah. That that number is so huge. <laughs> It's one of those ones I'm going to remember forever. Whenever somebody's like, name a realistic number that, that, you know, or something or whatever. The biggest realistic number that you that you can. Quinvigentillion is going to be in there for me. Uh, so, yeah, I, I saw this and I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. And then they kind of essentially said that they don't think uh, what's her name is actually ever going to come back for this character, uh, Amelia Clark. So it's just kind of like her character's there, but nothing more. I think they actually have a picture of her. This is her. Kind of looks like her. Um, Amelia Clark a little bit, but you know, yeah, whatever. Too bad. The more you know. Correct. All right. Let's keep on moving. A new Blair Witch Project uh, movie on the way from Blumhouse and Lionsgate. Guys, I know you guys were just thinking. Where's all these where's all these Blair Witch movies at? And why aren't there more of them? Is that something people ask for? Do people actually want more Blair Witch fucking movies? For those nostril shots. Hey, let me get you. Oh damn, I almost was able to. I was almost So I never saw the original Blair Witch. I remember the nostril shots as well. But I saw the second Blair Witch. <laughs> Don't ask why. <laughs> why I saw the second one without ever seeing the first one. But the second one, A, is a terrible film. And I love it. <laughs> oh, shit. But it's like so different. It's just, it's like a, it's like an actual movie movie. The second one, uh, I would say don't ever watch it. But did they ever make it? Did they make a new one? They did, right? They made a new movie. Like a couple years ago. I'm pretty sure they did. Blair. Blair witch. <laughs> Blair. <laughs> Damn, how many of these movies they made? Five. They made five of these bitches? You guys gotta be kidding me. They made five of these things. Did you guys know this? And if so, why didn't you tell me? Um, apparently Blair Witch Project was the first one. Curse of the Blair Witch, which is not the one I saw. Shadow of the Blair Witch, which is not the one I saw. Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2. That's the one I saw. And then they made the new one, which I did know in 2016, which was just called Blair Witch. Jesus Christ. They made fucking I had nobody there. Well, you better you better start watching. Cause they're making more. Uh prolific horror studio Blumhouse is teaming with Lionsgate for a new reimagining of the Blair Witch Project. It was announced at CinemaCon today. 
uh there's probably no other shit about to talk about this but i wanted to tell you guys that this this happened that i saw the official blair witch 2 before and that it's terrible um and then we got to find out that they made five of those things and uh i don't want to know anything else so let's uh move on you know fuck it margot robbie to produce a monopoly movie it, the, I, I don't know the fuck is going on uh, Lionsgate revealed a big an update on its up upcoming Monopoly movie during CinemaCon 2024 presentation, announcing that B Barbie's Margot Robbie is on board to produce. Robbie will be producing the film as part of her production company, Lucky Champ. Lucky Chap, sorry. Um, which also produced Barbie and is led by her, Tom Ackerley, and Josie uh, Mc Mac. Namara. Hezbo Entertainment will also be producing the movie. Why? <laughs> After that, I just stopped. But it was just like paranormal activity. Kind of, but it's not. Like, I get the genre is very similar, you know? But it's not a, but it's not like a ghost movie. It's kind of, eh, I guess maybe kind of it is, right? They made more of them of the movies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they, it, it is one of those ones where you could do one and and never watch another one. You know, where should it stop? Yeah, just watch one. <laughs> How is this possible? I don't know. Why is Margot Robbie doing all these things? How does a film on Monopoly happen? And 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 and, and how is it not just a movie about capitalism? <laughs> it's banned in this house. Ugh. True. They're like, hey guys, we we totally we totally wanted to make a movie for Risk, and then uh, and they're like, okay, so what is it? Like, ah, it's a movie about war. Cool. These are not movies. Uh, yeah, I don't understand what the hell's going on here. Uh, this just seems it seems dumb. If you ask me, I don't know. Like, unless they do like a Jumanji thing, you know what I'm thinking. Just hopping to properties and losing rent, right? Everyone forgot about. Yeah, that's true. They did. Uh, that is very true. They did. Let me acquire some copy, then I will use it. Correct. That is what you do with a, a brand new toilet. Yeah. So, uh, and and it's one of those things. Like Barbie is like the one movie that like actually did something good. Um, and people were like, okay, but now everything's on the table like no it shouldn't it's just stop they should stop making saw movies they did for a minute and then they were like guys what if we made these saw movies again <laughs> no uh all right let's move on ea is increasing the price of its subscription service ea play nobody here uses ea play right because if you do you might have to get banned i'm pretty sure that none of y'all would do this right you guys, you guys wouldn't use EA Play, right? Like we can skip past this, right? We can, we can skip past it. Like we don't even need to talk about this because nobody here would use that. I didn't know it was a thing, Jenna. Perfect, perfect. That's why you're the best, Jenna. I think there's a couple other people. Maybe they're afraid to say something. Don't want to come out and get judged, do you? Hmm. Come on, do it. Show yourselves. Ah, I saw the view count that went down by one. Somebody, somebody backed out because they were they were afraid. I saw the view count went down by one. Somebody left. <laughs> Someone's feeling called out. <laughs> is EA Play part of uh, Game Pass? The, no, it's not part of Game Pass. Nope, this is a thing straight through EA. <laughs> Scaredy pants. Why are you leaving? <laughs> Don't want to face the music. Uh, these, this is one of those things that I just, I saw it and I was like, eh, I'll talk about it because it's, you know, a price increase. Whenever there's money, I always like to talk about it. It's under ultimate game pass. Oh, I mean, sure. It could be. It just, it, I'm saying it just, I'm talking about this as like a thing by itself, like the service itself. That's it. 
It might be. I don't know. Uh, EA Play, the video game subscription service owned by Electronic Arts, is getting a price increase starting May 10th. Uh, a new report from the uh, GameIndustry.biz says EA is planning to increase the standard tier for EA Play from $5 to $6. Or for those who prefer to pay for a year in advance, the price will increase from $30 to $40. Uh, the pro tier of EA will increase from 15 to 17 or 120 annually, which is a $20 increase. Uh, I'm just saying, listen, if anybody in chat uses EA play, A, stop, get some help or you know, show yourselves cowards. <laughs> I don't need EA play anyway. No, nobody does. Nintendo have something like Game Pass. Yeah, everybody You're does. Psycho wiener. Everybody has something like Game Pass, but uh, the difference between Nintendo and EA is EA is a shit company. All right, uh, these last, well, not this one, but the last three, bangers i'm telling you guys get ready uh five nights at freddy's 2 is confirmed for fall 2025 that's a movie of course uh duh idiots would you think it was a fucking video game nerds losers dweebs uh universal pictures confirmed at cinemacon 2024 that five nights at freddy's 2 will be released in theaters in fall 2025 nothing else to say about it just that it happening i know people love five nights at freddy's i know they made a movie i watched it it was fine. All right. Next. Uh, if you guys didn't know, they're making a sequel to the uh, Joker film with Joaquin Phoenix. And uh, they released a trailer for it. It has Starry's. Uh, Starry's. There's something wrong with my brain. It stars Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga. I know what you guys were thinking. Lady Gaga? <laughs> That's right. Uh, I did watch this already, but, uh, you know, we should still check it out. So this is the trailer for Joker 2. Um, and there is some kind of subtitle that I'm not going to try and pronounce. I think it's like, uh, why, why, why was I going to say I'm not going to pronounce it? And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right into trying to pronounce it. It's like full adieu or something like that. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Let's get out of here. talking about Thank you. 
All right. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I, I feel like I'm kind of in a weird camp here. I, I remember the first one and I thought it was good. I've never watched it a second time. And uh, this looks fine. And I'll probably watch it once. Uh, and I probably I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I had to watch it right away when you dropped it. Yeah, I figured you would fool it. It's you shared madness or something correct yeah it's exactly something there's like a, a very specific thing that it but it's that exact idea reminds you of Brittany murphy that's true i couldn't think of what i was thinking of you are so right jerry that is exactly who she reminds isn't it crazy to think that Br Brittany murphy's not around anymore she is in some things she's in futurama she does some voices in futurama and it always shocks me i'm always like damn that is so sad that we will never get more of her uh, maybe we could be good. I don't know. You're not excited? No, that's kind of crazy. I figured you were way in, man. Also, you know what fucking got me? Made me laugh. Made me fucking giggle. No, not in here. Let me. Let me do a little quickness here. This fucking thing. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> this shit fucking kills you. <laughs> That's what you fucking. <laughs> uh, that shit kills me. <laughs> why are they? Why are they both on stairs? Fucking kicking each other. Like uh, they, that shit is so goofy. Uh. This trailer just doesn't look that good to me. I mean, it, it's just tried. It's it's supposed to just kind of like make it very uh, uh, open right now. So. It seems maybe a, a little meta and self-aware of the first film. Well, right. I think that's like the thing. People are wondering how this fits in with everything, of course. So people are theorizing about it. Uh, so people are like, well, it's probably just all in his head and that's kind of how this, this whole thing's working. And that's why there's music and shit like that. And how much of it's real and the old razzle dazzle would be interesting to see how they get like that. Right. I'm just talking about the kick. Oh, well, yeah, but also here, I'll show you something that's very specific to this thing, this like. That is like a very specific thing to the to the first film, man. Like, how would she have known about this? I remember seeing somebody specifically talk about that, and I was like, that's funny. So, yeah, it's the whole thing is going to be like that. I'm pretty sure that's how this whole thing is about to be. So, again, I think it's I think it looks fine and I'll watch it and I may never watch it again. Again, I watched the I watched the first one and just didn't really care about it. So. Yeah, I'm not sure about it. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad, man. I'm glad that you have opinions. <sighs> All right, I'll give her a go. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm ready to give her a go. Um, yeah. All right, let's get into something that's a little a little wild, and I would love to hear people's feedback about it. Um, because it's not it's not a normal. All right, let me just get into it. Uh, so I'm sure people have heard. So OJ Simpson passed away today. I think it was today. Yeah, today. T yesterday. Technically yesterday. Uh, at the age of 76, uh, after his battle with cancer. Um, I always, I, I, I feel like this is a very interest, not an interesting. I don't know. How do I, how do I state this? Oh, I didn't know about this? Really? Okay. So I didn't know that OJ had cancer. And it's not, you know, it's not like people have to tell us everything. Of course, that's not how what I mean. I was a little shocked to see it. But I wasn't... I wasn't sad about it because... I think that there's there's some there's some 
some speculation about who OJ was. Um, and I felt like I the thing that I was always sad about was the potential there was for um OJ to to have such a, a huge career that was squandered very early on and you know because of some 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 things that that kind of took place and I just I I I I I was always a little sad that 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 he kind of put himself into positions that uh caused him a lot of problems and uh yeah question mark cyclo uh out of nowhere but not a shocker right i i mean i wish i'd be shocked just because it was out of nowhere but i just yeah i don't i don't i don't have like a sadness and or anything unfortunately he was very retired when from football when he murdered people. Did I don't think he was convicted of murder. Um no, but uh you don't remember what was the he was in he was in a bunch of movies and stuff too and he was pretty good in them. Um I thought he was in some of the Leslie Nielsen films. Right? I don't give a shit about him being uh yeah he was angry oh yeah i was gonna say but he was i didn't give a shit about him as a football player man there was some juicy evidence no of course there was <laughs> there was lots of things but uh apparently the one evidence that wasn't juicy enough was a glove you know and as some say if the glove don't fit uh i guess we can't lock that bastard up he was in Naked Gun. Made a whole TV thing about it from with Ross from Friends. I mean, they yes. He was he was part of it. I did see that too, and I and I enjoyed it. But I also it 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 it, it, it was very much like a drama, so they, they were playing some things up, so spill some beans. Yeah, yeah. But Again, we we will never uh, we'll never have to worry about it again. I just I don't know. I don't, I don't have much to say about it. I, I just I didn't know how anybody else felt about it specifically. Uh, like I said, I, I just I, I was like, eh. that's too bad from a from a different perspective. I didn't finish it. Really? I thought it was fine. I just didn't think it was I just didn't think it was that I didn't think it was I, I went into it knowing that I that it wasn't like it wasn't gonna be like factual because they're like pulling stuff up that 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 you couldn't just I didn't mind it was very I mean it was very heavy on drama so I mean it wasn't it, I, I could understand I don't think it's it's definitely probably not Vash's kind of thing so I thought it was fine though but yeah so OJ uh at 76 passed away with his battle with cancer um yeah like i said if you guys you guys have any uh um, opinions i would love to hear them good bad I, I i i really don't care i mean you're not gonna you're not gonna offend me so uh all right i'm moving on i don't i don't, I don't want to talk about him i don't want to talk i don't want to have his face up there anymore at least Um, so no opinions. Okay, whatever. Don't <laughs> be a robot. Whatever. God damn it. This fucking guy. <laughs> um, no, I don't care. It's okay. To start with, but people at the pub had opinions. Ooh, some juicy ones. I would love to hear about it. Uh, so this last one is a trailer for a game that's going to be coming out in the near future. I don't know exactly called pools. And I was like a game called pools. What the fuck? And I watched the trailer and I was like, Ooh, this is really 
something. It, ga it gave me a feeling. I don't want to. Let me not spoil it. Let's let me let me show you guys this trailer and then I'll tell you how I felt about it. Okay. Um. So yeah, let, let me show you this trailer for pools. Yeah, so I, here's what here's how I felt about it. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's very cool. I think it's very un. There you go. I think it's super unsettling. Yeah, I agree, Jenna. Correct, exactly how I felt. I felt super unsettled the whole time. Yeah, it's kind of got a backrooms vibe. I've seen memes of when he pranked a reporter. Oh, OJ, really? I don't. I never saw that. A pool, okay. So many vids like this. It's cool though. The art the movement. Yeah, I thought that all those. I agree with those as well. Fire the guy that made the trailer or the game. Why, man? I feel like something creepy is going to happen though. It's probably right. I think that's the point. Is it supposed to be very creepy? And it has like, yeah, some backroom types vibes and stuff like that. I know there's like pool area in, in the back rooms and everything. I just thought I was like the whole time I'm just watching. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, this is so unsettling. I, I I'm, am I going to play it? F fuck no. Do I think it looks good? N no, but I'm going to I would watch somebody play pools. <laughs> and I was very unsettled the whole time. Again, I'm, I'm just here to, to show you guys things. Okay, no. Get over yourselves, all right? <laughs> no, I just thought it was interesting um, as it, the way that it looked and everything. I was like, oh, okay. Um, here, let me actually. It says wish list. It must be on here, right? Pools. Download pools demo. Oh, shit. There's a demo. Nice, guys. There's a demo. We could get a demo of it. Y'all want to see a demo of pools? I'm just kidding. We're not playing a demo. Go down slides and bad stuff happens. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about this game. I think it looks very beautiful, very well built, you know? Um, she looks like she could ride for miles, you know? No, I, 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 I just thought it was interesting. Very, like I said, I agree. Unsettling vibes the whole way through. So, I... Uh, I want to make sure I showed it off. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for the news for today. Uh, we'll hang out a little bit before we get into some Banjo-Kazooie. Um, but like I said, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the news. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. And I'll see you all on the other side.